the uh, Shah is, is generally uh, accepted as having been a very repressive and oppressive ruler. His uh, Savak uh, tortured and killed. Uh, he lived in considerable uh, splendor and opulence while there was uh, terrible poverty in his country. In your book, uh, Leaders, you write that uh, he was not ruthless enough in quashing those who threatened his nation's stability. Do you think he should have been more ruthless? Yes, I do, uh, particularly in view of the fact that his opponents uh, were not those who were basically more liberal, but because basically they were reactionary. They were the true reactionaries. Let, let's look at the Shah for just a moment and look at him very fairly. He actually was a progressive, uh, a progressive in a number of ways. Uh, he instituted a land reform program. Uh, he instituted a literacy program. He sent thousands of students from Iran to uh, the United States, and particularly the United States, to study and in other countries as well. Uh, he liberated women. The irony was that those he liberated, the women, uh, and the students he sent abroad, they came back and joined the revolutionary forces. And the irony was that the Shah, being progressive, was attacked as being reactionary and conservative on these particular issues, whereas his opponents were the reactionaries. Putting it very bluntly and very simply, the Shah was trying to move Iran into the 20th century. His opponents, Khomeini et al., wanted to move Iran back into the Dark Ages, and that's what they've done. Now there was some repression, true. Now there is total repression. Uh, there may not have been enough land reform. Now there is none whatever. Uh, what I am simply suggesting is this, that when we look at the Shah, we have to look at him in terms of what he confronted. And he, confronted, he confronted revolutionary forces there that were not working, in my view, for what was best for Iran and certainly not best for ourselves. And most important from the United States standpoint, instead of having a friend in Iran, we now have one that is not only not a friend, but one that is, considers us to be the great Satan.